Well, happened again. Another victim of the catalytic converters stolen from the from a car rental place. As you guys see, Mr. I just cut that bitch off, pulled it out. Apparently, they're going. It, it, it's such a big thing. It's happening in Houston, Las Vegas, Arizona, New Mexico. Apparently, each catalytic converter that's stolen is worth about like twelve hundred dollars, but the material alone is, uh, I think, twenty four thousand dollars an ounce. So I read online, just all the materials used. But yeah, got to take this one and get to the shop. If you guys don't want to be a victim in this situation, this 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 uh, thievery going on. There's a few ways to prevent it. One, make sure uh, to go to a mechanic and see if they can etch in your uh, VIN number or your last four digits of your VIN number to your uh, catalytic converter. Number two is you can spray paint it as well. Um, like with like a really good spray paint that won't come off. And number three, uh, put a cover over it. I guess they sell like these covers that's supposed to prevent it. So. Yeah, don't be a victim. Chrysler 300 too. That sucks. This is a 2020 Chrysler 300. One of the best things I do love about towing this car is it has great hook points on the bottom. And look at that. Getting your uh, car into neutral. It's just a little pull of a thing. Just gotta get it out of here. There we go. Put foot on the brake. Get that baby up. Locked in there. We are good. Now I'm going to take my foot off the brake. So I don't start the car and just put it in an accessory. Roll down the window. Time to load it up. All right. Load it up. Time to get it straight. Look at all the, the mess it left when they took it. It takes approximately 20 minutes for them to steal a catalytic converter.